Hi, it's Jan Beta again from his messy desk. Um, today I'm presenting to you this box, or to be more precise, the contents of this box, which are, or which is, and in German it's called Entlötstation. It's the um, desoldering station ZD915. Yeah, it's uh, the cheapest thing on the market. Uh, got this from Amazon for, I think I paid about 80 euros, um, which is dirt cheap for um, a desoldering station. And yeah, let's just see what this can do for the price. So here's what you get. The desoldering gun looks reasonable quality and it says on the back desoldering gun which is nice and it has two connectors this little thing is supposed to be um, sucking in air for the so to suck out the solder this is your standard um, soldering iron connector i think um, because this heats up and it's a normal heating element in here except for it has a little canal in the middle where it can suck the solder out. And there's a little stand included, which is nice with a little sponge. I think it goes in here like this, something like this. And this is the, the main unit. Um, uh, it feels reasonable, uh, reasonably heavy. Um, oh, it has even has uh, some nice buttons on it. Oh, and it feels like a, like a real power button, like it uh, connects the mains for reals. Um, yeah, the connector looks really cheap. Uh, this air connection thing is cheap plastic, but the whole, the, the main part of the, the whole chassis is made of metal. There's even a little, um, a little ventilation thing here. And yeah, looks reasonable. And I think, oh, I think the, the stand thing goes in here like this. So you can, oh, this is really fancy. You can put this in here. Yeah. And it comes with the mains cable, which is nice. So I can power it up. Um, comes with these, um, I think these are air filters, I think. There's one in here, and these are spare filters. Um, there's also one in here, I think. And um, there are also two spare tips, which is a nice feature for the price. This is where the, where the tube is connected to the um, main thing here, I suppose. Yeah, so let's just power it up and see how it works. So here we are. Um, I have this thing set up and connected to the power. By the way, the mains cable um, feels as if it is made from some heat resistant material even. Maybe it's even a bit silicone-y. I don't know if it says on there. But it feels really reasonable quality, um, let me tell you. So, this is the, the first time. Oh, one more thing. Let's remove the foil here. I hate it when it's still on. Well, I'll turn this on. It's not easy. Uh, there we go. So, let's power this on. I'm mildly excited. Oh, it beeps. U3. Oh, it's set to 160 degrees Celsius, I think. And it should heat up. Heat on. Wait. Yeah, it's heating up. Look. It took a while. But well, now it's really starting off. 
Uh, we're at 61, 65, 73, 78. This display, it's the, the blue LED stuff. It doesn't look that great, but it's um, clearly visible and it's readable from... Yeah, it's quite a good uh, LCD. Yeah, it's, it begins to smoke. Look at that. That's, I think, that's a typical thing for these cheapos. And now, let's see what happens if I press uh, the button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sucks in. And you can um, really see the smoke in here. Can you see that? I'm sucking in all the smoke. Yeah, apparently it already stopped smoking, so it's only the first uh, minutes. That's maybe some sort of coating or, or so that burns away. I've seen that a lot with uh, cheap soldering irons. So yeah, I think, let's see, this can do. Need a little bit more, I think. Oh yeah. How high can we get? No. Oh. 480. Uh, that's probably enough for most jobs. And the time it heats up feels quite reasonable. Let's uh, just pull it to something like 300 maybe to test it. So let's um, get out something to desolder and test this whole thing. Now I have this little um, circuit board here which is from an old amplifier. Um, yeah, let's just see what we can do with this thing here. Supposed, we're supposedly just touch this and it should heat up and then you can suck in the solar. Wow, this works really, really good. Yeah. So I heat it up and push the button and look at that. Solar's all gone. This works really well. Let's see if we can take out these resistors just unsoldered a little bit. Wiggling. Yeah, nice job. This thing seems to work a treat. Let's desolder one of these sockets here. Yeah, these have a lot of connections on there. Let's see. It's quite noisy, but that's the, the air pump, I think. Otherwise... Yeah, and here we go! That's it! And it's, I think this is totally sufficient for my purposes. I don't need some much more expensive product for this. Yeah, but this thing works a treat. Feels really nice. The little cooler, cooling fan inside the, the chassis is a bit noisy. Maybe if I find the time I can exchange that for, for a better one maybe. I don't think there's a very good one inside. Yeah, but this, this is so fast, much faster than uh, with the um, solar wick or the, the other pump stuff. 
This is great. I totally love this. If you ever tried desoldering these things like a larger connector like this by let's say by hand um, I, I mean meaning with a solo wick or with the um, hand air pump then you know what pain in the ass it normally is this is far easier so now it should come loose let's see Wiggle, 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 and there we go. Yeah. And one stayed in. Wasn't too careful there. <laughs> yeah, but that's um, quite an easy way to get these connectors out, which is amazing. Let's test if this thing remembers the temperature you set it at when you turn it off remember this is a real power button it uh, interrupts the, the mains so it seems it feels like a real power button so let's see what it does when I turn it back on does it remember the... yeah it remembers the settings that's nice you can also set it on Fahrenheit no problems. Yeah, it's the Editronic. I think this is marketed under a variety of brands. ZD915 D soldering station. I recommend this. Works a treat. Doesn't look too shabby. And the build quality for 80 euros seems to be very, very reasonable. Even this this soldering gun um, feels nice. Uh, I would clearly recommend this. Thanks for watching. If you like this, subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up at least. Um, comment on this if you have anything you want to ask or add. You can also donate. Uh, there's a little donate button now on my uh, channel. Uh, description. I'm Jan Beta. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. And hopefully this works by pressing here. Like this gun.